Hello, I'm John Kisley, Chairman of International Armoured Vehicles 2011. Welcome to the conference and the exhibition. I think this event is special given the nature of everything that the land forces of Western nations are doing at the present moment. And I think although there's a lot of pressure on budgets and heavy armoured vehicles are finding it difficult to find finance to be upgraded and developed, the light and medium area has proved to be really important in places like Afghanistan. The conference is in a way the heart of it and there are 500 people, it's a sellout, uh, come for two days of main conference with a focus day on either end, uh, focusing on specialist subjects. We've got a, a galaxy of uh, star speakers this year. Uh, we've got General Scott Wallace, former uh, Commander-in-Chief of the Training Doctrine Command, General Per Oppedal, the head of the Norwegian Army, Lieutenant General Jean Vernard from the French Army. No shortage of great speakers. When you look at uh, what's happening in Afghanistan, for example, the relationships with the nations here in Europe in particular. There's 38 nations in Afghanistan with us. So that's absolutely critical. So it's a great venue to listen to uh, current ideas, to uh, learn and see where technology is going for the future uh, as we prepare. And also, the importance of the audience, uh, industrialists, military, uh, journalists, uh, make this conference a very important one. Well, there's some really top speakers here, and I think it draws everyone together to really hear from the horse's mouth which way Ministry of Defence is going, which way international collaboration is going, and where technology is going. And I think it also gives the military uh, a clue as to what's within the art of the possible. Well, I was speaking about um, uh, my experience from finding a battle group in uh, Masakala in Helmand province and how uh, British armoured vehicles performed uh, on that operation. If you've come to this conference and, and didn't know, then by the end of the, these few days you'll know that the rules are, are, are completely changing. Then there's the exhibition, which is huge this year. We've doubled the floor space, but we've still had to turn people away. It's that popular. And the exhibitors here cover everything to do with armoured vehicles. The Ocelot, which the UK um, have uh, labelled for their purposes Foxhound, is the first of a new generation of vehicles. Pointer is a sensor agnostic networked weapon queuing system, which provides uh, target location direct to the gunner. A new product to the market is our uh, Tacticam product, which allows you to camouflage a vehicle from heat, from radar, from laser marking. We took an existing chassis, the MTVR chassis, and put it onto our own uh, design and develop uh, suspension, the Tac4 suspension, and came up with the MATV, the MRAP all-terrain vehicle. We have a number of key suppliers um, within the defence community who might not yet have been exposed to the Foxhound, it's important for them to see it, it's important for us to see them because they're very likely to bring the sorts of innovation that we need to take this vehicle forward in the, in the future. It's the one event in the annual calendar in the UK that allows us to, uh, to get together with the rest of the armoured vehicle community. Um, it allows us to mix with the users, um, we go to the presentations, but also to mix with our peers in the armoured vehicle environment. It's important for us to profile ourselves here along with our peers and to announce to the world that we are a manufacturer and developer of world-class product. International Armour Vehicles is a great platform for us to show products which don't come under the ITAR restrictions to a market that needs non-ITAR products. It's an armoured vehicle family here. So and this is something what you cannot find um, if you are just going to an exhibition. So and this is this is because you, you, here you can you, you know you can find for every single application of an armored vehicle you can find the specialist to talk to. And by and large, everybody will get to see everybody stand. Uh, and again, if you've got a, a big showpiece like we have, i.e., this vehicle, the MATV, then people get lots of opportunity to see it, touch it, feel it, get inside it, and have a good look around it. And one special part of the exhibition is a, a corner which is called the innovation stage. This innovation, innovation briefing basically gives you uh, the occasion to very specific relay your message. 
short, 20 minutes. Uh, it's a, a, a low barrier for people to, to, to just hop in and hop out, and uh, that's why we like it. What's interesting is since I've left there, I've been stopped about four or five times on the way back to the stand, where people say, well, actually, we'd like to know a little bit more about that, or we didn't realize you were doing that. So with regards to raising the Oshkosh profile and some of the work we're doing, particularly on the innovation side, then it's been, it's been absolutely fantastic. The uh, opportunities for networking are fantastic and you'll find as you go around that there are people talking to each other about armoured vehicles from all over the world. Getting to know the individual companies that are coming here, getting to know the personalities and indeed for us to be able to get to know some of the you know, innovative supply chain uh, personnel that might come through an event like this. It's a good place to, uh, to meet people from industry, uh, from marketing, from the actual the military itself, not just from the British Army, but from, uh, from other nations, other nations that we've actually operated with on, on operations in Afghanistan, uh, sharing ideas. This is not a case of can I afford to attend this conference and exhibition, it's a case of can I afford not to attend. Whether you're a government decision maker or a military practitioner, whether you're in the acquisition business or whether you're a manufacturer or supplier, whether you're in the media or academia, you need to be here if you want to know what the state of the art is in armoured vehicles.